All right, it's finally game day. It's uh, Extra Life Game Day 2022. All right, let me do, I'm gonna start the game, do a sound check, make sure you can hear me over the game. So we're good, let's get into the game. You know, I can edit the audio. Did Glory Dabner ever tell you she suspected the Brotherhood of being involved in the disappearances? Glory's a confused young lady. The Brotherhood helps people, whether it's with personal troubles or with what the fancy doctors call an addiction to puzzles. She told me that you're working with the Brotherhood. Rumors. Unprovable rumors. Just find what you need in those files and then be on your way. No need to keep Twitch open on the other computer. All right, let's take a look With at the files. With all due respect, Sheriff, these files aren't exactly comprehensive. There are no dates. What's in the files is everything I got, Tethers. All right. So, looks like I'm probably gonna want it's too bad I don't have this stuff in front of me while I'm solving the puzzle. Uh, let's see if I go over here. Yeah. Let me go back to what? Alright. Alright, so... How many do we have total? We've got Isaac. Daryl. Elidor and Will. Ted and Will. All right, so we know Daryl was last. And Isaac was before that. Okay. So Halidor and Will were both kidnapped before Ted. But Ted was not fourth. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so let's see. Ted. So if we do Haldor, Haldor, Will, Ted, am I skipping? Am I missing someone? Looks like there's someone. That's one, two, three, four, five. Maybe there's only five. Maybe I miscounted before. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's only five. Okay, so I think I got the order. Oh, no, because we have an extra person here, Barney. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yeah, okay. So... <coughs> Let me go back one more time. We've got Isaac. Isaac and Daryl we know for sure. So, I put Haldor before Ted. I mean, before Will, but we don't have anything about Barney whatsoever. Alright, let's start with what we know. We know Daryl's in the bottom. We know Isaac is before that. Uh, we know Ted can't be the one here. Let's put Ted up here. Let's do Haldor, Will... Barney? That's not a word. Alright, so... <coughs> the, pr 
problem, I think. Ooh. Isaac was the last kidnap or Daryl who was kidnapped. Because <coughs> see, if I shift Barney and Ted, then Ted ends up in the wrong spot. I wonder if I'm misreading this thing about Isaac and Daryl. Does that make sense? No, because we end up with a blank. So I think that has to go there. The question is... What am I missing here? What if I do it like this? Does this make something? Nope. And if I do this... Oops. If I do this... Not supposed to be there. Uh, what if I put Barney here? Nope, that definitely doesn't work. Unless there are supposed to be blank spaces so that there's blanks between the letters, but I somehow don't think so. Huh, this one's a toughie. Daryl was last. So I feel like Daryl and Isaac, we should know for sure. The question is, what do we do beyond this? That spells nothing. <laughs> there has to be something really like simple that I'm missing here that just Isaac is very weird. All right, let me add, try a hint, I guess. Haldor went missing before Will. Yeah, that's obvious from the, from what we already had. because that hint didn't give me anything that I didn't already know. <coughs> Barney after Ted. Why is Barney? I think I did that already. So we had Barney, Ted, Aldor, Will, Daryl, Isaac. That doesn't spell anything. I'm gonna be upset if that's the answer because that doesn't spell anything. Oh, tag nabbit! I could have got it without any hints. Hmm. Aha! It spells a name. Teeter daughter. Did you say teeter daughter? <laughs> uh, maybe. Hmm. 
That's probably Melcorka Teeter Daughter. And yeah, she's a strange one. Keeps her herself. Nobody in town really knows her. And I should have just submitted one it. Of the missing it's annoying. Missing? No, I can't say anyone would miss her. She lives in the old Teeterson house over on the west side of town, near Valda's Inn. Then I'd better find out what she knows about all these disappearances. Put my furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. Alright, I'm sure that's not something I actually have to do, or is it? Alright, let's go to Valda's Inn, I guess. Mrs. Garrett. Hello, Agent Tethers. I hope you had a good night. I did, actually, thanks to a, a mysterious benefactor. Oh, it's not that mysterious. I'm sure she just... I mean, whoever it was just hated the thought of you being out there in the dark and cold. Hmm. I, I don't... So long, Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. <laughs> All right. Um. Journal. All right. I said she lives near here. Maybe I need to go back outside. All right. Let's see. Um, if you do, it's going to use up your time. Alright, let's see. Oops. Assuming Sheriff Bog wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase, I've arrived at the house of the mysterious Melkorka. I'm still not sure how she ties into the disappearances, but she's the only lead I've got. According to the Sheriff's description, she sounds like a recluse, probably the town's resident gossipy spinster. Not a nice thing for him to say. Oh. Good evening, Agent Tethers. She's literally got a puzzle piece. Quickly, come inside before they see us. That's pretty funny. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeter Daughter. I dabble. Keep the brain <laughs> sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend, Agent Tethers. <laughs> Can I get you a drink or a crossword? Just the facts, ma'am. I like the these games back here. It's pretty funny. There's gum. That's not gum. There's gum there though. Gum up there. Gum over here. All right, let's talk to her. You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? Forgive the theatrics, Agent Heathers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. Your puzzle had a list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I've been keeping track. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize. Halder Magnuson. Haldor. He was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods. Never came back. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions. Am I supposed to follow her? That was weird. Oh. Test pilot Ed Davis? 
But that's... That's Isaac Davner. And look at the date of that article. 16 years ago. And that's just a few weeks before the date of the first missing persons case. Exactly. How are the hidden people tied into all this? Seriously, Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? Or to chase after forest gnomes, like those gullible fools in the Brotherhood cult? Hey, I've seen them. Don't be mean to me. None of this explains how Bjorn and his Brotherhood cult is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only 16 years ago. There is only one explanation. Ed Davis, your Isaac Davner, is a serial murderer. But the hidden people! I saw them take Isaac away! Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. I don't know what to think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I have marked approximately where in the woods Halto disappeared. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But... You want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Come back whenever you find something, Nelson. I'll be up. I can stay up all night. Well then. It's pretty funny. All right. Oh, it's nighttime now. Let's head to the X. I've arrived at the point Corka marked on my map. No signs yet of anyone here. Guess I'm supposed to follow those footprints into the woods. Oh, there's someone at the end of the footprints. They weren't there in the white shot. I guess I've been following him That's for a while. Edvard, one of the members of the Brotherhood cult. Got to find out what he's... Why was he recording something while he's watching a guy? That's hilarious. Nelson to Edward. All pieces must be placed when submitting. Alright. Interesting. Let me see if all of these have a valid way out. Alright, so any pieces valid for there? How about for here? Wow. The designers had a really... Nope. So this one's not valid, so that one cannot be there. All the others are valid. Okay. So we know for sure this one can't be. So... So we know that one can't be the first one. Let's see here.
All right, so none of those work. I wonder if there's any kind of... Oh, you know what? These look like they're arranged from like spring to summer to fall. So let's see. The question is, which is which? All right, let's say... I wonder what these rocks are supposed to be. But let's say we have winter, fall, summer, So I, th I think that's definitely part of the way this is supposed to be done. So maybe let's reset. Maybe winter is last. Um, could this be spring? No, that one can't be there. Um, If we go like this, nope, that's, well, it doesn't work that direction anyway. And then this direction, no, that doesn't work either. All right, these are chopped up. Oh, I see. What if we go from here? Fall, the chopped up. Oh, wait, chop, chopped up winter like that? No, winter chopped up? No. I feel like I'm on the right path, but. if we move these to the other side, like up here, and we do, well, then I guess it would be a different order, right? That. And then this would be here, this would be here, this would be here. Nope. All right, I'm gonna need a hint for this one for sure. Okay, so he needs to go it's like an everywhere thing, so. Interesting, okay. I still think there's a pattern to this stuff here. All right, let's see. This one definitely gives me two dead ends. <laughs> All right, I need another hint. So we start with the start with these. All right, so we start with this one. All right, now let's see if I can make this work. Let's see. Nope, can't be that one. Could be this one. Could be, could be. All right, now let's see if we go to summer. Okay, could be. Fall. Okay. Winter? this guy so he, he would go 
Yeah, oh, no. What if I change those? And okay, that should work. Oh darn, I guess not. Whoops. No. Rejected. Alright. Oops, I don't know why I did that. I saw it was going the other way. Alright, let's see. What did I have here before? So this one, he can he can go out. Okay, so he can leave through that one. He can go there. He can go there. Daddy, where are you? Puzzle agent. He can go there. Alright, now I think he can do it. Submit. Wait, how did that get blocked? Ah. So much for my idea about the seasons meaning anything. <laughs> All right, maybe I should try. Based on the other direction. Let's see. Okay, there's my borders. That's what tells me what needs to go where. Alright. So now what have I created? You can go up. Up, over. No, he gets stuck there. He comes this way. No, he gets stuck again. Huh. Not so much for the border theory. Unless the border is right, but... What I need is to swap these. to go into each one. Right, we know this for sure. No. 
how he could go up over. So that's a dead end. He went this way. That's a dead end. Dead end. Dead end. All right. Let me go for my last hint. So fall at the end. All right. So this one here and fall at the end. Those I know for sure. All right. The rest I'm gonna have to figure out on my own. All right. Let's see here. All right. So we can go up. No, he would. So he can't. He can never lead in a dead end because then he wouldn't be able to traverse them all. So here he can go up over a raw. Now we'd have to be Okay, nope. No. No. Guess it has to be this way, right? He has to be going this way. And then the question is what's next? Can't be that one, that one blocks it. That one blocks it as well. So I think it has to be that one. So he comes over this way. He has to go down into this one. Back up. And over. Okay, I finally got it, I think. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And I, I didn't pay attention at the end, but I don't think there was any kind of pattern to the um, like weather or seasons or whatever. Oh, I got an F. <laughs> My guy's all ashamed. <laughs> right on his face. <laughs> Edvard gave me the slip, and now I have no idea where I am. I'll have to find my way back to... Well, that was weird. Hermes the second. An alien? Uh, found... What? I can't believe it, but... Oh, right, because he was a test pilot. I found the body of an astronaut. I don't want to, but I've got to see. Why did he back up so much again? Hermes instead of Artemis? That's funny. It's, it's the hidden people. We're not supposed to exist. <laughs> He's still yelling. Nelson, I didn't hear you come in. That's impossible. <laughs> he was yelling the whole way in. Yeah. Isaac, I'm still looking for him. I went to the spot you marked in the woods. Did you find that, Davis? More than that. I saw one of Bjorn's cult members out there, probably covering up the scene of the crime. Why now? Bjorn must have seen us talking, or the sheriff. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy? The hidden people. The forest is full of them. Staring, whispering. You've been in Skoggins too long. You're chasing shadows. I found the body of an astronaut. An astronaut. Like in my dreams, but real. As real as the hidden people? You don't believe me. The hidden people, the Brotherhood, the astronaut. It's all connected. Hmm. Maybe you have uncovered something. Where did you see this astronaut? It was 
I don't know. I got turned around, but I know I saw it. If you did see something, there's nothing you can do tonight. You're right. I'll check it out tomorrow. Good night. Wait, but there was come on the driveway. A night's rest is exactly what I needed to clear my head. Even in daylight, I'd never be able to find that astronaut on my own. But I can pay a visit to the lodge to find out what the Brotherhood was doing in the forest. Looks like I'm going to the lodge then. Prorkskopavlskagen. This isn't right. No, this, this isn't right. Nelson Tethers, FBI Puzzle Research. I have some questions. They aren't hanging This should be an interesting conversation. You grab the gun first, though. Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. <laughs> Angry whispers. <laughs> Brother of Lutia Sparrowkin. <laughs> no, no. Can't do this, small man. Hmm. He's not being evasive. He, he's gone insane. Range the mirror so the light of reason hits all L-shaped pieces of sanity before reaching the blue core. All right. We want to avoid the synapses. I'm gonna assume it goes out in these directions, like um, straight out, right? So if I put a mirror here, it's gonna go there, there, there. I have to avoid this green. I guess I have to go back up this way, right? Up, 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 over. Uh, gonna have to go here. Let's go up, over, down. I feel like I've got the wrong piece here. <laughs> Alright, let me see. So right now, it would go... Oh, and if it goes here, would it go up? I'm assuming it goes in all directions, right? So I've probably got to... So I probably don't want that one there. Okay. So I want to go over, down. So this will, like, they'll hit each other, I guess. So this is... Uh, maybe that's just going to go in a circle. The one's gonna go up here. I wanna block that one. Oh, here. What if I go up and over? Well, that's just gonna go back and forth. <coughs> I can remove this one now. I can go boom, 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 boom. Nope, that's gonna bounce it into there. This is tricky. Alright, let's reset. Alright, if we go in all directions, we're gonna go down, up, Left and right. For sure we can't let it go left and up. So the question is, do I go up or down? All right, let's try going up. So we go up, bounce into there, over. No, that's not going to do a good job either. For sure we have to block this guy, so are we going left or right? Uh, 
Uh, do, do, do. Oh. Let's go this way. So we go boom, 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 boom. Now we got to block again. But we don't have the right direction. Wait. So we've only got two that face this way. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta be smarter with those. All right. So what if we go boom, 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 boom. We go right away. Boom, 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 boom. Now we bounce it down. Down to here. Okay. Then over. Now we gotta go this way. And up and over. I think that might do it. Let's see. Oh! I didn't realize I had to, it was coming from his eye, not from the. That was dumb. I was doing it backwards. That makes more sense why it seemed like there were so many paths. Alright, that's cost me at least one thing. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, this is gonna come in through here. Okay. And I wanted to get to blue at the end. I failed reading comprehension. Alright, let's see. If we bounce it up right away, boom, then down, over this way, so boom, 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 then up, boom, boom, over. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, what if we go through, up into here, down? Nope. I don't know. Definitely don't want to do that. What was the first one I did? So I bounced it right away, right? So bounce right away. Down. Bounce it this way. This way. Now we're here. Here. Let's go up to the top. Down through here and here. Bounce it there. Alright, now I think I got it. There we go. Hooray. <laughs> B is pretty good. Better than an F, that's for sure. Thank you, Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. I will try. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. Mm, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shielder. The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah. He went to commune with the hidden people. Never returned. Now he is lost. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He had to listen. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. The hidden people are angered. How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. It's interesting, since he's in charge of the Brotherhood. Well, if you're not behind the disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Tethers. Bring them home. All of them. Shielda, Edvard, Isaac, Olav. I'll do what I can. Olaf Olaf Velhaven 
The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? In his cabin in Sesame Woods. Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearances. For some reason, I believe him. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me, but that only leaves me with one theory. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Maybe I'll find some leads there. All right, to the cabin we go. Well, we think somebody's killing somebody, so he thinks it's that guy. Let's go to Olav's cabin. Whoa. Oh. Oh man, I hate these kind of puzzles. Let's see here. It's literally only one cut, huh? All right, let's see. That doesn't get that one. Let's see, this one, this one, this one. This, one. this might be it. I think this is it, let's see. Hurrah! Pretty good for the type of puzzle I'm not good at. Nice. Yeah, look how proud I am. Whoa. The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. Who or what was he trying to keep out? It's Olaf. Olav was, um, the first person to be kidnapped. The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Apparently, Olav Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. Outside. Let's see. It's probably going to be a puzzle related to the stars. Olav moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. This is tricky. All right, sun's to the left, Earth's on the right, moon, and where they overlap. All right. Oh wow. Can you get the Earth? on the left, hers on the right, moons are where they overlap. Oh, because this makes it part of this one, see? I see what I have to do. See? So I need to trade a sun over here. Ah, but that's going to trade an earth. Alright, let me reset. There we go. Now that I know what I'm doing. Let's bring a moon over. Let's see. If I do... So now I've got a sun. I've got another sun. It's gonna be tricky. All right, well, gotta get all the earths out. <coughs> uh. <laughs> now there's gotta be some math to this. This is too random what I'm doing here. Sorry, yeah. Let's see. <coughs> Wait, where do the earth have to be in the blue? Earth in the blue, sun in the yellow. I'm almost there. Let's see. There we go. 
No. Because I have all the suns over here. I just need to get this earth over there. What's the trick to this? <coughs> Maybe, um, we'll have to have... That brings us sun over. That brings us sun over. But now it's going to bring us sun over here. This brings a moon over. But now we're bringing another sun over here. Now we've got all the earths, but we've got suns in the wrong place. Let's see. I think you need to have them. All right, let's see if we can get this moon over, I mean sun over. Get this moon over. Oops. All right, now all the suns are in the right place, but the moons are not. All right, let's use up a hint. Start by pairing the two moons to each other and keep them together. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. I need reset. That was a reset. Oh. Nope. Maybe I'm doing this the wrong order. There we go. All right, so the moons are together. And I have to keep them together in order to do this correctly. All right. Oh. I think I got it. Boom. Boom. Ta-da. Just need one hit. <laughs> I'll probably get a B if I used up one hit. Hey, all right. Yeah. Aha! But why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? The painting definitely looks evil. You can lower the mic if you want. Why? It'll pick up your mic. Oh. Looks like Olav was a fan of Galileo. Mm. Oh, that's Galileo. It's focused on the moon, just like Olaf was. What about the drawers? How could one man possibly need this many socks? <laughs> Oops. How could one? All right, so there's a puzzle here, I guess. This is odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? Okay. Whoa. 
Ooh, the celestial bodies to the proper position in the cosmos. Oh, the sun has to go here and the moon has to go there. And the earths have to go there or something. Oh! I see. It's another one of those puzzles like the one I did before. Oh, this is like that game Move the Truck. Hmm. Last time I had to do one of these, I asked your mom for help, and then I figured it out on my own after I asked her. I think... There we go. Somehow, I have to go around this way, I think. is just a little too big. Alright, I'm gonna need a hint on this one. Yeah, I know that. More. Sun and the moon. Alright. That's what I was doing anyway. Last hint. Move the moon up to, sun down, and to the right. Then move the asteroid up. Alright. Let's see. Reset. Oh! That's how you get it around. Gosh darn it. Is that the most you can go? Yep, he's stuck there now. I have to move the earth. Hold on. Earth up, over, over this way. No, no, now move it that way. Is that close enough? Let's see. Hopefully. I don't want to also get a failure on top of all those scenes. Hooray! That's definitely gonna be an F. Oh, not an F. D. <laughs> Passable. He's like, I don't know. That's it. But what does this have to do with his other research? Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Oh boy. So this is five and five, so five to the earth, five to the earth, ten to the earth, is that it? Twenty? Hooray!
He's proud. Yep. The Old top Bellhaven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? <laughs>